the upcoming release of Lightfall, our mods are about to be changed forever. With that knowledge, a lot of our current builds in the game aren't going to perform the way they are right now. So I wanted to start a series leading up to Lightfall where I make a build with every single class and subclass that we currently have in the game. These builds are not going to take advantage of any combat style mods and heavily focus on fragments, exotics, and aspects. Normally, if you use these builds with mods equipped, it is just the cherry on top. And of course, before you start doing anything in Lightfall, you can obviously take a look at the new mod system and try to insert what you think might work. This is just supposed to be a clean slate and give you all an idea of what is some of the strongest stuff in the game right now for each of the classes. If anything changes in the future, I will make an updated video talking about what I think could be better. And like I said, if you're interested in every single class and subclass, be sure to check out the channel and give the series a watch. All right, in this one, I want to go over probably one of the most broken builds in the entire game, the solar titan the solar titan has been undeniably the most controversial build pretty much in the entire game being able to just solo bosses faster than a normal team of three can do now this build has gotten toned back a lot with a bunch of nerfs but it is still overall one of the best builds in the titan in my opinion due to the fact with all of the damage increases you can get it's extremely easy to play and you will never have to shoot a gun if you don't want to all right to jump right into it since this is going to be a melee focused build i would highly highly recommend binding your charge melee to a key that you can hit multiple times because what we're going to do with this is we can throw our throwing hammer and we can pick it back up immediately throw it again and it is never going to have a cooldown or you're never going to actually have to punch with your normal fist because you're always going to be throwing your charge melee over and over and over and over again this is what's really good for taking out tankier enemies especially things like bosses pretty much everything else you're always going to one shot but this just makes it so you can throw it at close range and constantly repeat throwing it like i said over and over again so how is this build going to work in preparation for lightfall since we're not going to take any combat saw mods first off let's talk about our aspects we have soul invictus and roaring flame soul invictus says solar ability found blows hammer of soul impacts and defeating scorched targets creates sunspots your abilities to generate faster and your super drain slowly while standing in a sunspot sunspots apply scorch and deal damage to targets inside entering a sunspot applies restoration so this aspect alone right here does a lot when you get solar ability final blows you will create sunspots sunspots will heal you when you stand inside them and make your super last longer your abilities will regenerate faster and overall it's just good for every aspect of this build you have your damage survivability and it even increases your super lethality which is crazy good now our other aspect is roaring flames final blows of solar abilities or ignitions increase the damage of your solar abilities stacks three times our roaring flames is active your uncharged melee attack deals solar damage and scorches targets so this is going to be really good because every time you get a solar ability kill you'll get a stack of damage it is extremely easy to do this with throwing hammer and since throwing hammer doesn't have a cooldown you will always be able to stack this up to times three pretty much 24 7. it's also very easy to stack this with your super as well and if you ever get in a situation where you can't have your throwing hammer while roaring flames is active your uncharged melee will also scorch enemies which will also help keep rocking roaring flames and also again provide soul invictus sunspots so with these two aspects alone all you're doing is throwing your hammer everywhere getting a ton of damage making sunspots to help you in multiple different ways in your battles and that's pretty much the roundup of these aspects now i highly highly recommend taking healing grenade since all your damage is coming from your melee healing grenade is just going to be a very good option if you're in a tight situation throw it on the ground and you're good to go remember soul invictus also will apply restoration so you have two different forms of healing with this i also just run a towering barricade for survivability if you need to get a rest anything like that if you want to run a rally barricade you can but whatever barricade is your choice the hammer soul is the go-to option for me since your single target damage is mainly coming through your melee hammer soul is an extremely strong at clear super you can throw this it's going to blow up and it's going to spawn those molten shards that will also at clear and on top of that it will create sunspots when it hits if you stand in sunspots it's going to last longer overall i think hammer soul is just the go-to super for this because it synergizes so well with everything in our kit now for fragments there's three i would highly recommend taking in one you can kind of switch up however you want it but ember of empyrean is the solar weapon or ability final blows extend the duration of restoration and radiant effects applied to you so this means now when you keep getting hammer kills you will constantly keep reprocking restoration over and over again and you'll pretty much have 100 uptime on it and then we have ember of torches so power melee attacks against combatants can make you a nearby allies radiance this is just going to give you a damage bonus when you hit enemies with your thorn hammer this is really good for your team especially in you know a raid like scenario it also will help you in general if you do like to run normal weapons but for the most part you are going to be just throwing but for the most part you are just going to throw your hammer pretty much 24 7 
7. Then we also have Ember of Solace, a radiant restoration effects plot you have increased duration. So this means now your restoration plot to you will now just last a little bit longer and it's easier to keep up with Ember of Imperium. And then finally, Ember of Combustion. So final blows what you super calls targets to ignite. This just helps out with the ad clear a little bit with this build, makes Hammer Soul even more deadly than it already is. But if you want to change this out to something like Ember of Singeing, so your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets, since your sunspots will scorch targets, you can do that. Even Ember of Benevolence is good if you want to play it into a support based role, since you're always going to be giving Radiant to your team anyway. This will give you some more cooldown for things like your grenade and your barricade that will help you out. And if I'm being honest, all of these really are interchangeable because the main parts of this build is Soul Invictus and Roaring Flames. You can kind of take whatever you want, but I would highly recommend going into this support kind of base role, since you're already doing enough damage for yourself. This will just help your team out and you also on top of that will have that added benefit of act clear if you ever are in a sticky situation now to amplify all that we're also going to be running the synthesis this has the exotic trait biotic enhancements increased melee lunge range improved melee and super damage while you're surrounded and this exotic perk can actually be active pretty much 24 7 if you are playing into it correctly and the amount of melee and super damage you get is just out of this world carrying this with your throwing hammer you're going to be easily one-shotting pretty much everything in the entire game and on top of that when you get to a tanky target you can just constantly throw it and they will die pretty much in seconds now what's really cool is that this also does increase your super damage this will help out with the super aspect of the build that we also kind of played into when i was going over the subclass so this just means now your super is even more deadly than everything that we've already invested into it so the steps is a great option but if you want more survivability you can opt in to run something like lorelei on your helmet instead of running send the steps but i honestly would just run this pretty much 24 7 because you already have enough survivability with things like healing grenade and soul invictus in my opinion now weapons for this build you can run whatever honestly run something like tractor cannon to debuff whatever tanky a target you're throwing your melee at also is very strong then i just throw a riptide on here with chill clip because when the light fall comes out chill clip is going to be a very strong option for taking out champions and since you're really focusing on your melee in general to do everything it's easy to run double special because you're never really going to shoot your gun in the first place like i said though if you want to swap out for other weapons if there is a certain boss dps weapon that's going to be the meta you can absolutely do that and still play into your melee you just might not use it as much for your boss damage which is totally fine and now for some mods that are probably going to stay where they're at currently and not get taken out the game and that's something like hands-on i run double hands-on so i get more super energy on melee kills since we're getting a ton of melee kills since our super also is playing heavy into the build this is a no-brainer to take you're going to get a good chunk of super energy every once in a while when you get a melee kill and it'll just make it even easier so you can spam your super as much as possible now also i'm going to be running double impact induction so cause of damage with a melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown so since your melee is now giving you super energy on top of that you're also going to be getting grenade energy back which is extremely nice because you're going to run healing grenade and you want to have this up pretty much 24 7 for your survivability now also highly recommend taking your resilience mods these are just some i have slotted in right now we don't exactly know what's going to come with the artifact but you know just to show off remember to take these now if you are playing into shotguns i would highly recommend running a shotgun holster because this means you'll just never have to reload tractor cannon my found verdict does have all loading on it in the first place but if it didn't the shotgun holster would actually reload both these guns and you just absolutely never have to worry about it if you are playing into this i feel like this is a new brainer to take right now until we have more information on our combat saw mods and then i threw on a recuperation so if someone generates an orb i just replenish some health which helps out a lot more with survivability as well and then finally i do have double bomber so i can reduce the grenade cooldown when i pop my barricade this is just nice to give you a little extra bump of energy if you're in a sticky situation you can throw your barricade down and maybe you'll get your healing grenade back you can heal yourself with bomber being active with that knowledge you could definitely take ember of singing so you can try to get that barricade back as much as possible so you can spam it as much as possible so you can always have a healing grenade now i highly recommend a hunter resilience and a hunter discipline with this build resilience is going to give you a big chunk of damage reduction while discipline will let your healing grenade cool down even faster in my opinion those are the two main stats with this build that you need if you want to throw in something like recovery you can also do that but since you're always going to have restoration recovery isn't that needed so just as a roundup synthesis is going to give you a ton of melee and super damage you're getting a bunch of extra energy for your super and your grenades and on top of that you never really have to reload the two main things that's playing into this build you're also going to be taking soul invictus and roaring flames to get a bunch of damage decreases alongside a bunch of survivability you're also going to be heavily playing into your super so you can just add clear like crazy with it if you need to and on top of that you're also kind of being a support teammate always giving your teammates radiant pretty much 24 7 and you always are going to have your survivability up with ember of solace and ember of Empyrean with things like your healing grenade 
and Soul Invictus. You're pretty much unkillable. You can kill everything with a melee. And like I said, you never have to shoot a gun if you don't want to. But that is pretty much the build. Even without combat style mods, this thing is better than some builds with combat style mods. It is just that strong. It is very fun to use. And I highly recommend you all give it a try. And if you want to, I will have a dim link to this in the description below. And if you all enjoy and learn anything new, consider subscribing, and drop a like, turn on notifications on. Also, if you'd like to join my Discord or follow me on any of my socials, all that will be linked in the description as well. But just know watching this video is way more than enough and that every single bit of support from you all is truly appreciated. Thank you all so much for watching this one and have a great day. Peace.